favorite we like to teach is the, the butterfly grip. You see people do it all kinds of different ways. There's a lot of acceptable ways, but especially if you're learning it at first, the butterfly grip is really good. Or even an elbow to elbow where you're just sinking this in as tight as you can get. You gotta sink this grip in tight. One benefit of the elbow to elbow is you can get it tight this way and you can squeeze your elbows in inward to kind of get some more pressure on it. So Trisha's gonna get a tight grip and then he's gonna get his ear on the back. And let's rewind a little bit, let go of the grip. First, one of the hardest parts here is oftentimes setting your grip. So one, one easy way I like to do it is jump on the other side so you can see. Just put both fingers on the far hip, lift it, and then he's gonna use his the hand, like kind of his low hand, his, his first hand all the way through. He's gonna lift and bring his second hand through. Now he's set it. Now he's gonna get the lock I talked about, a tight lock. Ear on the back. Um, once to stay like right here on the back. If he starts to go and slides off, that's when you're gonna get stepped over. So when he goes here, he wants to make sure like his ear's staying kind of right on the middle of the back. Now he loads that knee under, starts to drive over the shoulder, then he's gonna bridge his hips and then roll.